you balance your life? Because we know that we are in this position because we love what we do, but sometimes it can overtake everything else. We talked about like meditation and hours. She was saying that she's had moments where she will like take a minute or two to like meditate while she's at work if she's getting overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I told her I actually do the same thing. I'll just tell my kids, I'm like, you guys, I'm going to close my eyes. And when I open them, this is not going to be what's happening. I know. (laughs) And it works. And they think it's funny, but like, they're like, oh my God, like she's meditating. So like, that's how we know it's bad. And I'm like, we're going to chill out. So, and we also talked about, um, Buns had said how, um, just keeping ourselves like busy in other areas. So like not taking work home or taking home like to work because that can kind of make things more difficult too um and just doing things that we enjoy to make sure we have balance in our life also to add on that point because all of them get like antsy and stuff you kind of have like a one minute meditation time to like have them all like be centered and be like okay we're gonna focus on like the thing at hand like everything is empty from your mind like for sure And then it's also to uh, keep the variety, bringing new talents or interests to your program. Like if there's something that there's another staff member does that's really awesome, that's really unique, bring that to your classroom too. Uh, Change up your routine. So say if you do it all the time, one one direction, like reverse it and say, hey, we're gonna do this this time first instead of this. Um, And then if you can uh, work with different age groups or even combine with another teacher or a professional so say hey let's put our groups together and do something fun 